All right, let's take a look at this question. It wants us to find the area of this shaded region. Now, one thing that's unique to this problem that hasn't been on our others is notice we are certain that this line is a radius for the circle, meaning this is half of the circle, okay? So um, there are, again, many methods for solving these and getting the correct answer. I'm going to show you one way and using um, segments of circles. So remember the segment of a circle is when you have a sector. Okay, so you have a sector, but you also have a cord coming across that cuts off the top of that sector. That top that's cut off by the cord, the curved part, is called a segment. Notice we have a segment here. As long as I draw another radius to the end here, notice I have a full sector and the white part of that is called a segment. Okay, so the shaded part is purple. So my plan here, my plan here, I'm going to draw it out for you, is since I have half of a circle, I'm guaranteed that you can't assume it unless you know that's a radius or a diameter. And I know it is because it goes through the center of the circle. I'm going to find the area of half of a circle. I'm going to subtract from that the area of this sector. <clears throat> so not sector, segment. Okay. And that will leave me with the part that's shaded, right? If I find the half of the circle, subtract the white, that will leave me with my pink. Okay, that's my plan, okay? So first, what is the area of half of that circle? Well, the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. We want half of that, so I'm gonna do one half of pi times radius squared because we just want half of the circle, okay? Well, that would be one half times pi times the radius is four squared. So let's calculate that first, get that out of the way. Good old geometry question. So 1 half times pi times my radius squared gives me about 25.13 is where I'm going to round it off to. Okay, now all I have to do is find the area of this segment cut off by the chord of length 7, and I'll be good. All right, so let's take a look. Um, well, in order to find the area of a segment, here's its formula up here for the area of a segment, I need to know my angle theta in radians, okay? And again, theta is the angle at the center here. To do that, I'm going to use, guess what? The law of cosines, okay? So we take the side opposite the angle we're looking for, 7 squared equals the other two sides, 4 squared and 4 squared of this triangle we formed. Okay, notice that's what we're working with is a triangle. That's why we pulled in law of cosines. Minus 2 times those two sides again, 4 times 4 times the cosine of my angle I'm looking for. That gives me 49 equals 16 plus 16 minus 32 cosine theta. Ooh, okay, here we go. I'm going to simplify, so I'm going to subtract 16 and 16 from 49, okay, and then I'm going to divide by negative 32. That would give me 17 over negative 32 equals cosine theta. So to save space, I just went into that, but notice what I did is I subtracted the 16s from both sides divided by negative 32, okay? Next, we need just theta. So we're going to take the inverse cosine of both sides. Okay, so the inverse cosine of negative 17 over 32 gives me about 2.13 radians. So the measure of this angle in the center is 2.13 radians. I'm going to use that to find the area of this segment. Okay, this is called a segment, this white section here. All right, so the area of a segment is 1 half times radius squared times theta minus the sine of theta. Okay, that's 1 half times my radius is 4 squared times my theta of 2.13 minus the sine of 
2.13. 4 squared is 16, divided by 2 gives me 8. And 2.13 minus the sine of 2.13. is about 1.28. Again, I just leave the full thing in my calculator and go times 8. Again, you should get about 10.26. All right, so here in our master plan, we were going to find the area of half of the circle, which we did. Subtract from that the white section, because that's basically what our shaded part is. It's half of the circle minus this segment here. So we've now found the area of that part is 10.26. So we're going to take our half circle, 25.13, minus the segment, 10.26, and we'll have our answer. And this is still an approximate answer. We did some rounding along the way. So if yours is off slightly from this, you're probably okay. If it's off by a hundredth or a tenth or so, you're good. If you're off by three or four total, probably not. Okay, so the area of that shaded region is 14.87.